Hello and welcome to another short Adobe Premiere Pro tutorial. This week I was archiving some video off my local disks and was totally shocked to realize how much space proxy files were taking up. Working with proxies is a great benefit in Premiere, especially if you're working with high resolution footage and if your PC isn't super fast. I had been editing 4K footage from my holiday. Some of it was 30 frames per second and some of it 60. To speed up the editing, I created proxies for all the content. Now when I look at it, I see that the original footage took just under 30 gigabytes, but the proxies that were created to help speed up the editing work took up an additional 42 gigabytes. That's bringing the project to two and a half times the size it originally was. That's a lot of disk space to lose on one project. The reason the proxies take up so much space is that they are uncompressed files. This helps your PC work with them without having to decompress the footage as it goes along. Reducing the work for the processor enables it to keep up. But once you've finished editing, you don't have any need for those proxies. And like me, you probably want to get rid of them. Well, it turns out that this isn't so easy. There is no remove proxies option in Premiere, but here's how I do it. So here we have a project that is set up to use proxies. You can see if I look along the project bin that I have got proxies attached to all of the clips that are in this particular project. So I also have in my timeline set up uh, the button that allows you to toggle proxies on or off. They're off and that's them on. If you don't have that button displaying, then just click on the little plus sign that's at the end of that toolbar and you'll find all of the buttons that you can use. And if you want one of them, you just drag it on to the toolbar, just wherever you want that to be. So in this case, I've got proxies already set up for this, for this um, project. And if we play the video, then you'll be able to see that it's able to keep up pretty well um, with the footage. And that's even though it's not a particularly powerful PC. So the question now is how to get rid of the proxies. And um, this is my suggestion for how to do it. So go into Preferences and into Media. And uncheck Enable Proxies and click OK. So now you can see that the button has become disabled and we're working off the original um, footage here. So I'm just going to close down Premiere. And I'm going to go in to the footage folder and delete the proxies folder from that. So it's gone and I can just go back up now and open the project again. So when we open the project again, it can't find the proxy files that are there and we just need to click offline all. So Premiere may take a few seconds, but basically it has the original media connected and it, it can use that instead of the proxies. If we look at the project bin, we can see that the clips themselves are all online, but the proxies are offline and that's absolutely fine. So we can play the, the timeline track and you can see you can see that it's a bit jumpy because it has to play it from the original media. So then what we need to do is just simply save the project. We can use that as we need to without the proxies. If you want your timeline then to play reasonably smoothly in that situation, the best thing to do is to render your sequence in to out. Um, so that would allow you basically to um, play it and allow the PC to keep up with it. Another useful thing about proxies to know about Premiere is that if you use the Project Manager facility in Premiere to archive your projects, you can, for example, eliminate all the unused clips. However, if you have proxies in your project, Premiere will in fact copy all the proxies to the new destination, so it kind of makes the whole thing redundant. 
However, if you use the method that I've covered in this video, then you'll be able to copy the project and eliminate the clips that you don't need and you won't have the proxies because you've already deleted them all. So that covers basically how you can save a load of disk space by cleaning up your proxies after you've finished the editing of your project. If you enjoyed this short tutorial, then please subscribe to this channel and hit the bell so that you get notified of new tutorials as they're uploaded. I'll be posting a new tutorial each week. I try to keep the tutorials as practical as possible so you'll build up your skills in Photoshop, Lightroom, Premiere and After Effects.